Hey guys, it's Ivy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of vlog slash review type thing. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be posting my review for A Golden Fury by Samantha Coho, which I will leave right here the picture. So I'm actually halfway through the book. That's why I decided to like turn this into kind of a vlog kind of review. I guess it's so cute I honestly I love this cover that's what got me into wanting to read this is like her holding the candle but anyway so this is a book about a girl named Thea Hope and her mother is an alchemist so her mother has trained her to become an alchemist as well and the beginning of the book starts off with her being with her mother and them talking about how they're looking to curate the sorcerer's stone slash I guess Philosopher's Stone. I actually, in the book, I'm pretty sure they call it Philosopher's Stone, but I guess my American brain is programmed to say sorcerers. Her mother had this assistant whose name is Will, and her and Will were caught like kind of kissing and flirting, but like they didn't really go like that far. And so her mother like banished him away. And at the beginning of the book, we learn that her mother is kind of mean and aggressive towards her and she kind of sees this as a bad sign but she's kind of like not really sure what's going on but her mother actually goes mad from creating the philosopher's stone and attacks her so this is kind of where the the big plot comes in and where you really really get interested into the book since her mother attacks her this guy the, I, I don't know how to say the word it's like comped or something uh i i i it's like c-o-m-t-e i don't know what that means but that's what they call him sends her away to oxford to her father whom he doesn't even know she exists this is like where the big story begins but he's also the alchemist so she has all the alchemist notes because she realized her mother cracked the code to create the philosopher's stone but it made her go insane and it's called like the alchemist curse i'm 50 percent in that's kind of the big plot what the book is about you know thea's on this journey to create the stone and all these people who are interweaving throughout her life i will update you with more of my thoughts once i either a want to talk about something or b when i finish okay all right i'm coming in with another update so i'm 70% through now. I quickly want to talk about the characters because in this book there seems to be a lot more manipulative evil characters than they are good characters. Although Th Thea, she's a good character. There are a lot of plot twists in this book and a lot of that has to do with the characters and like certain things that they do in the story and obviously. So for that, I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But I do like Thea as a character. I do like Will as a character. I also... I'm not sure about Dominic. I like him, but I feel like... I feel like there's things that we don't really know about him. Like, I... I, I, I don't know. I don't trust him. He seems sneaky. So... Maybe it's a good thing that I'm like telling you guys things while I'm progressively reading because I really don't know so I'm kind of like speculating. Earlier I mentioned about the Philosopher's Stone uh, causing the Hulkamist curse which the things that um, happen to people in that when they're going mad are they become aggressive and violent they become violent to others and themselves they hear voices they uh one of the first signs i think is like a fever and then after the fever is when you really start to get like extremely violent so far being 70 percent into this book enjoyment wise i'm really enjoying i like how the story goes pretty quickly we don't linger in one area for too long however because of that I would have liked to see more between Thea and her mother at the beginning of the story because it's just kind of like we're thrown in. We don't like Thea's mom. She's crazy. And then Thea leaves and it's like, 
okay well we really didn't get to see much of their alchemy relationship together so i i wish i could have saw more of that but it's fine like i'm not too upset about it because that just means like the story just moved very quick like we didn't linger and i didn't get bored so i do enjoy that about the story like it's continuously flowing i believe this is told in the 1700s i can't remember correctly but i believe it's the 1700s and it starts off in france and she goes to oxford and then she wants to go to london because her friend will lives in london so we are traveling throughout the book so that's kind of another reason why it flows pretty progressively and things go pretty quickly and why you really don't get too bored i'm at the part in the story where she is creating the philosopher's stone and so is another person and obviously a, a bunch of different people are trying to create it but she's at the point where she doesn't know who to trust and some she kind of almost can't even like trust herself because of the alchemist curse that comes with with creating the philosopher's stone which makes for a really good element in the story as well in accordance to her writing style uh as i mentioned earlier flows pretty progressively so i really do like her writing style she does uh use like different languages french german and uh Italian there's also an Italian in the story so she uses some words from different languages so that was really interesting her book so far to me in my opinion flows pretty well it's pretty easy to read it is YA and I have been reading a lot of adult lately so it feels really nice and comforting to be back within a YA world and not just a YA world but also like a YA world that I'm like thoroughly enjoying and I haven't read an alchemist story in a long time if like ever besides like harry potter which isn't even an alchemy story you know so i'm really enjoying this narrative and it's been really fascinating and a really quick read that's it for this update i think i'm going to take a shower and then continue reading and then i'll update you guys more because i'm starting to like fall asleep not because the book is bored but I'm just like so comfortable and like so like in my zone that I'm like starting to feel extremely relaxed okay this is all irrelevant I'm gonna take a shower I'll update you guys in a little bit bye okie dokie guys I finished A Golden Fury by Samantha Coho and I'm reading it three out of five stars I really enjoyed my time reading it I really enjoyed the character building and the traveling as i said earlier i was wrong about dominic he is not a bad guy uh he just gets in you know he's involved with the alchemy i really enjoyed thea as a strong lead female character i thought she was fantastic i thought she was strong and she was resilient she never gave up and i really really liked that about her i enjoyed the ending i'm not sure if there's going to be a book two or not so i'll have to look that up but like i said i give this three out of five stars i'd really like to thank st martin's press and wednesday books for sending me an early copy to read and review if you guys are into alchemy books books with a little bit of magic books with a little bit of historical fiction i highly recommend this one to you and i think you will really enjoy it so thank you guys for watching my review i hope you guys have a beautiful day and may the force be with you